Time and Tide, the Australian Watch Authority, since 2014. Old meets new in one of the freshest members of Rado's Hyperchrome family. I am, of course, talking about this, the Hyperchrome Bronze. Now, you don't have to be Sherlock Holmes to work out that the bronze in the watch name refers to the case material. But really, as you can see from the bezel here and the lugs, Rado's other material of choice, ceramic, is also very much at play. In fact, it's only the case side inserts that are made from the, the bronze alloy, which will get that really nice warm patina over time. Ceramic makes up the rest of the equation. And really, I think this is the best of both worlds. It gives you the hard wearing appeal of ceramic, scratch resistant, lightweight, and you get the old school look of bronze where it counts. The thing I think I like most about the Rado though is that it's a bronze watch, but it's not uh, a vintage reissue. It's not like some sort of heritage diver. That's typically how we see the bronze used. It's, you know, pretty much the domain of heritage reissues. And I think it's really underutilized in more modern execution and it's something we're gonna see more of. That said, I'm willing to bet that the unconventional two-tone combo will be a bit polarizing for some people. But if you're already on board with the sleek and sporty look of the Hyperchrome, this uh, 45 millimeter watch has a lot to offer. The Hyperchrome Bronze is a limited edition piece with an Australian retail price $6,725.